this. Understand that um, I don't think it's cool, but if a guy chucks his chin, you can choke over his face. Khabib taught me that. Because he did it to Connor. <laughs> but you can choke over his face. But I'd rather you guys not do that. So basically, I'm not going to do it, but if he touches his chin, I can put my forearm on it and then choke, choke over his head. But, he did that? Arms. Oh, did he do that? <laughs> but the basic way is if a guy tucks his, uh, uh, you try to put this arm through, and if he fights your hand, so like he double grips your wrist, like this one, fights the choke hand, he fights the choke hand, you go and you go under until he fights that one. And then you eventually get one on you. So that's like the basic way. Now, the other way of doing it is you grab, you put your forearm on top of his head and pick his head up. So you're trying to get the choke, and he's fighting, and his chin's tucked, you know, and you get your hand out. And once your hand's out, you put your forearm here to pick the head up to get this on you. Now, the mean way. For Barry Ishida way? Yeah. But yeah, for Barry Ishida does. Please don't do that in here, tournament. I do not care what you do. Um, you put your wrist under their nose and you pick their head up. This is 100% legal in the tournament. You can do that. So, and I will tell you, they will lift their head neck. This is bad. So if you watch, uh, yeah, it sucks right there. And if you uh, watch Barry Sheeta, he's this little Hawaiian dude. I mean, the whole match is him putting his wrist in people's nose. That's like what his return is like. He's just like this and this and he gets a choke. But for the most part, I would take it as if I almost got my arm in, I'll go like this and then I'll get my arm in, okay? If he tucks his chin and I really can't get under there, I go for the arm bar or I go for a crucifix, okay? So the arm bar looks like this. I'm gripping the wrist, and I get basically a, a more grip. So I either grip, grip, more grip, okay? I start put on the hip here, and I roll my elbow out. My forearm goes here for a second, giving me time to get my leg over his head. And I go for the arm roll, okay? That's one. Two, a lot of times is he bites my hands, I'm not getting the choke put my foot on the butt and set him down and I'm going to put my leg over his shoulder over his hand over his shoulder over his hand and then I cross sometimes from here I can crush his hand now I've got two arms so I can fight you know and get his neck up so I'm here now I can pick his head up I can work here I can get this under and I can work something here that makes sense so that's another way to isolate the arm the way I get the crucifix is this He's fighting my hands. I lay him on his side, and I put my leg over his shoulder onto his wrist. I'm fighting here. I'm gonna lay him here and take my foot off the hook, okay? Take my foot off, and I start pulling him, urging him to go over my leg. So I want him to think it's safe to go over my leg. And when he does, I kick, and I'm in the crucifix. From here, I'm fighting for this choke, boom go behind or just choke from there. Okay? Alright? That's all my fault. Let's work this. One, two, three.